You and I can lift up our young men and women. We can teach our children to raise them up in the way of the Lord, to bring up the next generation of faith-filled, truth-speaking, devil-stomping, baptized believers who will never back down, never give up, who will fight for what's right and stand firm on the foundation of Christ crucified and risen again. We stand on the truth of that story. And that's exactly what Jesus calls us to do. That's what Jesus, Jesus invites us to do. Crucified, dead, and risen again, Jesus Christ has defeated Satan and all of his lies. He has paid for our transgressions and paved the way for our faithful expressions of word and deed. He is the light that no darkness can overcome. And that means the darkness of our times cannot thwart him. We stand in his light and we boldly lift high the cross. That means we'll boldly stand in his light for the family. Because taking a stand for the family will teach our children to embrace what is good rather than simply to fear what is bad. It also will do much to neutralize the claims that Christians are anti-love bigots. Being for the family offers a much broader path platform to stand upon and gives us much to celebrate during these challenging times. So if reporters, if writers, or if relatives ask you, you can tell them you stand for something and not simply being accused of standing against something. 